Right, we want to check the compression on the engine of a life and five horsepower engine, single cylinder engine. So if we're not thinking about this, we could just go and put a compression gauge into the cylinder and then give it a few, a few sharp turns with the start cord and see what happens. So off you go. Okay, so now at first look it seems like we have problems that we don't have any compression. But then when we think about it, we realise that this engine, like an awful lot of engines of this type, is fitted with an automatic decompression device. And we know that the decompression device works on the exhaust valve, so we have to identify the exhaust valve. So if we look at the carburetor, and we follow the passageway into the engine, we can see it leads off to the top valve there, so that looks like that's the inlet valve. And then to confirm, if we look at the bottom valve, and we move off to the left, we can see a finned passageway, which leads on out to the exhaust box. So the bottom valve is obviously the exhaust valve. So what we need to do is take out the push rod there, and that takes the automatic decompression device out of the circuit. So we're just going to whip out the push rod. So there you can see, there's the push rod out of the engine. Okay, now we're going to do the same test again. And we're going to see what sort of different results we get. Okay, so looking at that there, we can see there's a big difference now that we've taken the automatic decompression out. And we're getting five, six, seven, we're getting seven and a half bar. So we're getting seven and a half bar in the compression gauge. And because this is a, a brand new engine and we know it's in perfect working order, we can take that as a reference figure. So that's checking the compression on a single cylinder life and five horsepower engine.